Welcome back, everyone. Kremlin Archer here. Time for some more Project Zomboid. Lovely screaming woman in the distance to greet us. Also, my headphones were turned up way too loud, so that screaming woman was very, very loud in my ear. But it's okay. We'll survive. We'll get through it. I believe in us. Alright, so let's see. What was I doing? Oh, I need to unequip this one. I should probably, now that we actually have two big hiking bags, I need to rename this big one as, as the back bag. Not sure why I titled it like that, but whatever, it's fine. Doesn't bother me. Probably bothers a few of you, but hopefully you'll forgive me. Someday. I don't have a book right now. Do I have any beginner's books right now? Intermediates. Nope, and... Cooking for beginners. I've not read this one yet. Nope. All right. Just gonna take this to our bedroom here, and we'll start reading it. And we'll read for you know, a couple hours. And we'll go to sleep. I suppose we'll eat these bacon and vegetables stir fry in the morning. So fast forward here. She's exhausted because the previous day she got woken up in the middle of the night. Which I assume was from a nearby zombie zombie horde, but I don't actually know that for a fact. It's just an assumption. Uh, Alright, that'll do. Hopefully nothing else goes wrong overnight. 3.30. You, again with the strong panic. Yeah, it's gotta be the zombies around here. They get too close. They, they they get too close to the outer fence, and then she hears them and gets freaked out. Is the problem. Which I guess is... I guess we'll have to start sleeping in this room over here. Although we're not going to be able to go back to sleep now, because this has happened before. Let's take a pill here. Let's see if it helps. Do this so I can get in here without having to walk around. So you're not gonna be able to sleep, huh? Probably. Yeah. All right. Well, let's eat our our bacon and what bacon and what call it stuff. There we go. All right. Well, we got time to kill because I'm not gonna have her go out into the world at this hour. So let's see. What do we want to do? So we can read some more. Do some cooking. Let's do some cooking. I guess the, the appropriate thing to do, the appropriate order of operations is to read first. Because the more we read, the higher the, the bonus points we get for doing the cooking that we're about to do. So therefore it makes more sense to cook, to read first, then cook. We'll read until like 6 a.m. Then we'll do some cooking, and then we'll go out on the town. I read to 6.30 because I got distracted. Alright. Stir fry. Um, let's toss some mutton chops in there. And some uh, peas. And we'll throw some salt in there. For a flavor intensifier. And maybe a little pepper too. Alright, a little pepper. Boom. All right. Nope, that does not go in there. It goes in here. Mutton chop's starting to go bad, actually. Um, can I add more mutton? Step away here. There we go. It's starting to go bad, so I should probably just use it up. All right. go turn that bad boy on let's put the salt and pepper away pepper salt there you go all right and now while we're waiting on this we can do some more reading halfway through the book yeah, it's a little fast forwarding here Cook, 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 cook. Yeah, I know you're getting bored. 
I'll work on that in a minute. I'm kind of thinking about going to the outskirts of the prison. Um, just to see. See how bad the area is. But that's probably not a very good idea. Considering that area has killed me multiple times in the recent recent weeks. Alright, so we got this. Alright, so we'll take it out here. Just take it with us because she's not actually hungry right now. Let's get started. Get this axe, which is getting kind of close to breaking. We can still have one, another one on us. Alright, um. Alright, we're gonna have to deal with these zombies before I can put the other thing back down. Oh, looks like we've gotten a whole big group moved in the area overnight. So, two, four, six, eight, nine zombies. Okay. Alright. Everybody gets a piece. Four more. There's the hunger. Alright, you too. Last but not least. Alright, explode lady. Tired of stepping on you. There we go. Alright, so let's check these other zombies. Nobody has anything for me? That's unfortunate. Alright. Um, mutton chop and pea stir fry. We'll eat half of it. There we go. Nope. We never put our uh, piece of furniture back down in front of the door there. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Don't want to carry that extra weight around for no reason. We're gonna head out again. Not sure exactly where we're going today. Just go where the spirit takes me, I guess. Really? Moderate exertion already? You need to get in better shape, lady. There's three zombies down there. I can leave those ones be. Maybe I will go to the outskirts of the prison. We're not gonna, definitely not gonna fight the prison today. Because if I was gonna do that, I would take the, uh... I would take a, um, shotgun with me. We can go take a look, see what's up. Maybe, um... Kill a few zombies in the area. Could be fun. Bunch of zombies out here. I think this road turns this direction, if I remember correctly, so we're gonna go just this way. Hopefully, we run into the road, or else I'm running in the wrong way. I'm just trying to cut some distance off here. Yep, there it is, okay. Because I didn't want to have to do the little turny do and waste time. Food should be a like way station or front gate thing up here. A little ways. What are we doing on this? One forty-four out of one fifty. We're getting there. Get another level of sprinting will be really nice. One of my favorite things. If I could have full sprinting all the time, that would be what I would do. Because the amount of time it takes to travel places is one of the more annoying parts of this game. Which, it's realistic, I mean, it would take forever to walk across town, but it is also something that is kind of annoying when you just want to get somewhere. Alright. 
Garbage bag, I'll take that. Some food in there. Just eat this banana since we're standing right here. In there. Alright. Into the prison. I kind of wonder if I want to run the uh, run the prop the fence line. I haven't done that yet. It might be interesting to see what's out there. Hello, zombies. I think I'm gonna run the fence line. It's not something I've done yet. I don't know if there are any breaks in it, anything like that. So we'll check these guard towers as we go. They don't have a lot of zombies in them, but they have a few. So I mean, sometimes they have a few. I'm just gonna knock the doors down because I feel like messing with this. All right, come on outside. I have a knife. Uh, I got some butter knives. All right, let's do this. Reduce the amount of shenanigans we're dealing with here. Oh, that was a weird little blip. I never seen that happen. Where it goes all the way through the animation, but you don't actually hit anything. Stairs. Stairs are my nemesis. Anybody up here? Alright, good. Radish seeds. That's what I always wanted. Alright, so that's all in this guard tower. I guess I wasn't really expecting much of anything there. I just. Just figured since we were here, we should look. I really want this high exertion to drop off a little bit. But that probably won't happen unless I stop moving. Which, who's gonna do that? Who has time for that? Ain't nobody, that's who. Alright. I doubt there'll be any openings in the fence or anything like that, but that's an interesting check. Something I haven't done yet. I like to do things I haven't done before. At least when it comes to Zomboid. Real life, eh, a little bit of fear there. Alright, here's the next guard tower. Hey, this one's open, nice. Nobody in here? Not on this level, at least. Alright, nobody there. Looks like we might be getting away with nobody being in this guard tower. Nothing and nothing. Alright, well this guard tower is kind of a waste of time. Let's actually sit in this chair for a second. See if we can burn off this high exertion. I'm fine with like moderate exertion, but the high exertion bothers me. Apparently the answer is going to be no. We'll sit here until noon, maybe. Yeah, we'll wait till noon. Just taking a breather. 20 minute break. Good enough. All right. All right. So now the back side of the prison. Hey, second another level of sprinting. Good. Good. What do we got? Anything? It's not like there's anything around the back side of this. suppose that's not that surprising. One of these days I really do want to get in there. These places like the prison and the mall that have so much stuff going on makes it extremely difficult to get into. Um, 
always just excite like they they make me excited about getting into them it's like it's the, the challenge of getting in there is like I gotta get I gots to get in there I gots to know nothing and a needle I'm gonna take that damn needle I walked all the way up here I'm taking that damn needle besides who knows maybe one day I'm gonna make a bed you can't make a bed without a needle Of zombies out there. Getting a little overheated today. Yep. No breaks in the fence. I was kind of hoping for one, but wasn't expecting it. Some zombies actually inside the fence line. the opening to this one. Here we go. Come on. There you go. A lot of stuff on the ground here makes it a little trickier to run through. Nothing. And a lighter and some nails. Okay. Oops. Missed the stairs. There we go. All right, so we've done a full lap. Now we have to deal, if we're going to deal with anything, we have to actually deal with some of the zombie clutter that's going to be out here now that we uh, got them excited about leaving the building. There they are. Can't use a knife. Can't use a stabby knife with those guys. There we go. There's a little bit of attraction. I suppose I could use a stabby knife with this amount of zombies, but oh well. Not now, lady. Oh, that's everybody. Oh, bad swing. I suppose the kind of cheap thing I could do is just start leaving them off into the trees, right? Just have everybody follow me out into the trees and then we won't have to worry about them anymore. See how many of them are left by the time we reach the trees. Folks, I would prefer if you spread out a little bit. This will be makes it a little bit easier to attack you when there's you got some distance between you. Unless I'm, you know, doing the shotgun thing and then then stand as close together as you can. But I'm not currently doing the shotgun thing, so let's spread it out. A little bit. Run, run, run. Well, now I'm gonna kill them all. contacts are bothering me all of a sudden makes it really hard when I can't like stop and mess with my eyes because otherwise I might get eaten by a zombie instead I'm trying to fight through the the fuzz hey there we go I need one of you to give me something good to justify this effort that I just put in here Looks like they're not going to do that for me. Hello, crawler. Alright, you three. Nobody? Alright. There's another group that came out of the building. Let's have an orange. Hmm. 
wonder how many of the zombies have actually... Of the total possible number of zombies, I wonder how many zombies have actually come out of that building now. Not that many yet, apparently. <laughs> Judging from the... thing in the world, not particularly useful at this point in the game. Mm, okay, that seems to be the, apparently the bulk of them. Still a few zombies around, but definitely the bulk of them. Of course, if I remember correctly, the second floor of this place is still completely overrun. <laughs> Also, this room probably has a bunch of zombies in it. No? Oh, that's surprising. Some food. Nothing in the freezer. Some garbage bags. Alright. Man, getting a lot of one-hit kills here. All right, folks, come on out. Let's kill one or two of those, just one, okay. Come on, Need people to fall down here. Is that all of them? Two, three, nothing, all right. Alright, so um, I'm going to stop here for today, and I'll pick it up next time. Thanks so much.